What's going on everybody? This is Terrence Clark and I'm coming to you from EXP Realty and I just wanted to talk to you about three reasons why your rental is not cash flowing. So reason number one is you have miscalculated expenses. So one thing that happens for uh, new investors is when you're going through trying to decide on whether or not it's a good deal, um, sometimes you miss things uh, in terms of expenses um, that you don't calculate. And there's, a, there's a, so many reasons why um, you miss them. It may be because you don't know that that's part of the calculation. It may be because there are terms um, that you're unfamiliar with. And it may just be because uh, you don't know how to calculate them. But um, in order to determine if a deal makes sense, you really have to hone in on knowing the expenses. So it will be important for you and your ventures to make sure that you run these deals past um, experienced investors who can make sure that you're not missing anything. But some of the most common uh, things that people miss as far as their expenses are concerned is uh, definitely their, their vacancy. So that's just like anticipating when the place is not going to be rented because there's going to be times where you have to turn um, a unit from move out from a, a new from an old move out to a new move in. Um, so there's going to be maybe a month or so where you know it's not occupied, and you need to take that into consideration when trying to hone in on your numbers. Um, also, capex. So capex is capital capital expenditures, and those are just things that uh, have a life cycle that you need to plan on changing out, i.e. Um, you know, a refrigerator, microwave, dishwasher, stove, so on and so forth. Those things, um, you know, as time goes on, you're definitely going to need to replace them. So you have to account for them um, or account for those type of repairs to come up. Um, next is your expenses may just overall be too high. So um, in terms of uh, expenses being too high, you really need to track down your expenses. I would definitely suggest that water bill and electric bill calling over to the service providers talking to a customer service representative and go through with them your bill make sure that your bill is not showing anything abnormal um, to where it's to where you know maybe maybe you're being overcharged because something's not running efficiently and while if you know if you're able to pinpoint those things while they may not be free or even low cost to, uh, to remedy, at least you know when you fix those things that those expenses are gonna go down. So um, yeah, definitely check into your expenses. And then lastly is just the overall bad deal structure. So um, if you pay too much for a property and then you finance too much, um, then your mortgage is gonna be too much, making the deal very, very thin. And it doesn't allow for you to have you know, variable expenses as far as uh, miscalculated expenses or uh, to be overcharged uh, when you're paying for things. Just even things like your regular like landscaping, something that you'll do uh, maybe monthly or uh, you know two times a month. But uh, when you overpay and take on bad deal structure, maybe not putting enough money down, not getting that uh, payment in a in a place that it creates. Um, some wiggle room for you. That is another reason why, you know, your property is not cash flowing. If you're only able to cash flow on a good month, a hundred dollars, and you and you didn't calculate some of these expenses, you know, you could go from cash flowing a hundred dollars to being in the hole that month because you have some of these things that come up. Um, so really work on your deal structure. I would say, don't uh, look to go into these over leveraged positions. Put down a little bit more money if you have to in times like this. Yeah, the return may be a little bit slower, but at least for in times of uncertainty like COVID, you're not stressed out because you know if you miss a if, if there's a payment missed or what have you, or if there's something that comes up, you know, you have a little bit more margin in, in your cash flow for those things. So those are the three things that I wanted to go over with you. Um, in the meantime, if you have any questions, jump on to TerrenceClarkRE.com. And otherwise, you can catch me on uh, pretty much all platforms, uh, Legends Dead, and I'll be happy to help. Thanks.